Hey guys, welcome back to another week. Me and dad just, you know, doing our thing. So, I'm out of giving you guys a little bit of a teaser video um, about me and dad's new truck. This is the second one that's coming out. It, it got here a couple weeks ago. I just haven't filmed it yet. It's been sitting back here in the lot. But this is the second Stinger that they're getting ready to build. So, it'll... It'll work out. This one hadn't even got a stickers yet, so she's not even on insurance or nothing. She's just sitting here loving life. So yeah, she's gonna be fancy soon enough. But today we've got not one, but two boats going to uh, Seattle, Milton area. And one of them's on a cradle, so it's just the back boat. We gotta watch a little bit closer because instead of six straps holding it down, we only have four. Technically, eight straps, not four straps, six straps, excuse me, because you got the wheel wells. So uh, normally there's only four holding the boat down, and then there's like the, you know, the, the, the wheel straps, and then there's the trailer straps. So, uh, it's all good. We've hauled them before. The only thing I don't like is uh, the fact that the the wheels back here are together. But a lot of that's for uh, over length laws. So it's official. I had to show up work to, early today before Dad got here. And uh, here's what I did. Officially cleaned out the old Pete. I don't know what's going to happen to her. And frankly, I don't care. Um, she's going to go to Peterbilt for sure to get the head looked at see if they can't replace the head or do something simple to get it back on the road but for the most part yeah we're done so in about three weeks because uh, one of those weeks is vacation for me and dad speaking of dad hey there he comes alrighty get this truck moving evening I'm over here at uh, Grand Island, the TA. Me and Dad have uh, made it through a, <laughs> a uh, thunderstorm. It's a real tiny one. It, you know, the thunderstorm almost seems to last while you're on the interstate that you're on, right? It's never off in the bloomies doing a thing. It's always right where you're at. So it is pretty bad. It, well, it was pretty bad. Um, had to slow down for a, a good minute because, you know, the wind was pretty bad. And, you know, the rain was coming down pretty hard. For, for a minute, I thought it was hail, but it wasn't that bad. So this is what I'm worried about. So this back boat was twisted pretty good, even though it's in a caddy. Um, and it's pretty solid in this caddy. I mean, we've, we've hauled these caddies before. And we usually change out the wood uh, about once a year, sometimes more than that, depending upon how, how bad, you know, these caddies are. Uh, but... It was twisted a little bit, so I pulled over in the middle of a freaking rainstorm. And <laughs> if you don't know, these straps, when they get wet, and really any any straps, I mean just any straps, two inch, four inch, three inch, one inch, if they get wet, they're going to stretch just a little bit. Well, since there's only four, I have to panic a little bit more, be more precautious. Precautious, that's a word. More cautious. And being sure that they stay tight at all times. And because there's only four, I can start to see one not be as tight as I'd like it to be. And it's mainly these back two. That's always the back two. The front two seem to be okay most of the time, but it's the back two. Now this trailer, the, the, the ones that always give us trouble is the tire straps, because they'll loosen up pretty easily. So the one over there was loose, but we got our thing tightened down. My brake's almost done. I just finished getting fuel and I gotta pull forward here. Um, had to go inside because, well, the pumps ain't working here. You, know, you gotta go inside, do everything. And I was thinking about getting some more um, some more gloves, but they don't have what I want. So I guess I'll get to Cheyenne or something. Meanwhile, I wanna shut up so Dad can sleep and um, let you guys see what I'm doing when I get inside the truck. But let's kinda go from there tonight. Uh, like I said before, we headed to Seattle. Um, we should be there like Wednesday or so on April the 17th. 
Um, and right now we don't have a back call. It's projected to have cars, but who knows, it may change. Yep. Uh, as promised, I'm over here in Cheyenne and it is like Wyoming to be extremely windy. It's like 60 plus mile an hour winds today. So it's pretty bad. That's why I'm talking to you guys inside instead of outside because yeah, this pilot over here, it's, it's pretty windy. I'll give you guys a taste of it here in a second, but it slowed us down a good bit. is crap. I want to get it done. Let's check this one over here. I might be able to get this one to click. Oh yeah, she's good. Oh yeah, got one out of it. Let's see ya. Oh yeah. So my night went, went okay. It was just mainly windy. A lot of rain, a lot of, a lot of rain, a lot of yeah. rain. Other than that one time that I stopped to check the straps and uh, take like a 45 minute nap because I was tired for some reason. I was fighting the wind. Coffee wasn't doing it for me. The only thing I can do is stop taking a nap. And I just pulled over on an exit ramp and went to bed. Well, folded my hands and just kind of Took a small cat nap. Uh, that tends to work real well. Uh, makes me feel better, stronger, you know. Kind of power to the, the night. I really don't want to like overdo it when it comes to coffee or energy drinks because that's just not really healthy for you. You really want to just kind of keep your body in a position to where if you need something like that because it's important, you can drink it in it'll help you you know stay awake better but if you use it all the time then end up hurting yourself more than helping yourself so the wind's coming from behind us uh so the flag over there on the other side of the scale uh, over there in cheyenne that thing was at full tilt dude sure it was. i mean it was just straight it had all six straps holding on to that flag as, with, with all this might in fact one of them was torn that was that's a big flag too. It's like a dealership flag. Uh, organize this a little better. Whew. Oh boy. So uh, what the weather today and over there in Cheyenne, um, what I saw on the billboards a minute ago was um, 60 mile an hour gusts and 40,000 pound um, and high profile vehicles are restricted. So, let's drop your speed, we'll be all right. But between here and, and uh, that mountain, I think it's Pilot Mountain, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a bear. I'd like to be a little heavier, but you know, we're step deck, so most of the wind will pass right through us. Dad's got his breakfast. I think I wanna go and edit a video for you guys and go to bed. have an idea on a backhaul yet so it's probably going to be cars like I said and uh, we'll just keep going from there hey guys well I'm over here at Pendleton Oregon getting ready to grab a shower dad's uh, still finishing up dinner while I'm waiting on to get out of the shower he's going to go find a place to park that way we're not clogging up fuel island but for the most part I want to end the video here, and uh, you guys will see us uh, continuation on the next video when we get to Seattle and unload, and we've got a backhaul going to Everett, picking up there, and then I'm going to get down to Columbia, Kentucky, just north of uh, Fitzgerald's new place, well, <laughs> Bruce, Wilson, Bruce Wilson's new place in uh, Fitzgerald's old building or whatnot in Bardstown, Tennessee, Jamestown area. But uh, y'all see that later. But anyways, I'll let y'all soon. See ya.